hello everyone uh, welcome to this video uh, in this video we will uh, see how we can implement k-means clustering in tableau uh, using our code first we'll see uh, what clustering is so basically uh, clustering is one of the most common exploratory data analysis technique uh, used to get an idea about a structure of the data set basically it's the task of identifying subgroups in the data says that data points in the same subgroup uh, which is cluster are very similar while data points in different clusters are very different in other words we try to find homogeneous subgroups within the data such that data points in each cluster are similar as possible according to a similarity measures such as euclidean based distance or uh, correlation based distance so what is k-means clustering k-means algorithm tries to partition the data set into a k predefined distinct non overlapping subgroups which is clusters where each data point belongs to only one group uh, and k here basically is a number of clusters it tries to make uh, the intra cluster data points as similar as possible while also keeping the clusters as different as possible it assigns data points to the cluster such that the sum of the square distance between the data points and the cluster centroid uh, which is arithmetic mean of all the data points that belongs to that cluster is at the minimum the less variation we have within the clusters the more homogeneous or similar the data points are within the same cluster so here are some steps uh, how we can do that in uh, tableau by using r in my previous video i already had covered uh, some of the sections of these steps for example like uh, how to download and install r how to download and install r server package and how you can connect tableau to the r server so uh, i will provide the link of that video in the description of this video or also you can you may be able to see that uh, link somewhere on the screen here i will be just focusing on implementing the k-means clustering in tableau by using uh, script underscore int function and i will come back to this r code later when once uh, i show you how i create the calculated field so let's go to the data and for this example i'm using the iris data set uh, which is very uh, well known data set so basically this data set is about uh, iris flower and i think it has around 150 observations and three uh, species uh, of flower which is basically uh, setosa versicolor and virginica and also for each flower they have like petal length petal width uh, sepal length and sepal width so i'm going to use this simple data of 150 observations here i just created this calculated field uh, i will show you what that calculation is so as i mentioned like i use a script underscore int function within tableau and whatever you see uh, in this double quote is basically the r code i use to identify the k-means clusters so let's go back to the r code where i explain like what that code is so basically this was the code i showed you so first by calling the library functions we are bringing a cluster library um, so we can use the functions within that uh, cluster package uh, and also we need to make sure the cluster package is installed in R first. So I will show you that how you can make sure the cluster package in your R environment. So if you haven't installed that package in your R environment, then you you may want to do that by uh, typing this command um, install dot packages. And here in double quote, you can just uh, say cluster and hit enter i will not hit enter here because i already had the install the package uh, so i can use that but before you make that calculated field in tableau just make sure you had installed this cluster package also uh, set dot seed function here in r is used to re reproduce the results uh, so basically it produces the same sample again and again 
when we generate random numbers without uh, seed without set dot seed function it will produce different samples at different time of the execution and this portion here basically is normalizing the variables c bind is the function which combines the vector matrix um, a data frame by columns and k means is the functions within the cluster library that we are using to create specified clusters for example we specified three clusters here and we also specify the data which by normalizing the variables and dollar sign basically is the extract operator in R used to extract uh, content from the object. So basically this is the calculated field uh, we are using and we are just like passing uh, sum of uh, petal width and petal length as argument uh, one and argument two and so this is the calculated field we are using so I'm gonna click okay here I just had created this uh, scatter plot by using a petal width and petal length uh, onto columns and rows and I just make sure that uh, I had unchecked this aggregate measure to get all the data points here so you can see there are like 150 data points here and also in data we already had uh, specified like which species it belongs to but by using R we we are now calculating the clusters and we're going to see based on this pedal width and pedal length if it's going to identify the right clusters for us or not. So once I created this calculated field, I'm going to drop this uh, calculated field onto colors here. And as you can see, it, it created like three distinct uh, clusters of the data. So it created like uh, three distinct clusters since we uh, in the calculated fee field we ask it to create like three clusters uh, if you specify more clusters here it will try to create more clusters so uh, if we bring the species uh, onto the colors just to to check if our clustering algorithm did a good job or not so as you can see here um, there are 50 observations so if I bring this to filter, show, show filter here. So if I select only Setosa, and you can see there are like 50 in Setosa and 50 in Versicolor and 50 in uh, Virginica. So, so I will remove the filter here. Now I, I will bring the the clusters which we created by using our code and I will bring that to color and I also bring that to filter hit apply hit ok show filter so if here I select just one cluster And if I count the number, so it so it's showing like 50 uh, for the cluster one. So that means it correctly identify all the 50 species uh, in this cluster. So if I go to the cluster two, like this, then it it had identified like 52. So it's supposed to identify only 50 species, but it uh, identify like 52. That means it like identify two more from different group which it's sub not supposed to so and now if I select the cluster 3 this then it identify like 48 so the two only two species were misclassified uh, uh, there is also uh, uh, another way in Tableau to do the clustering so if we go to the analytics up tab here and if we drag and drop this cluster uh, into graph here like this and you can specify the number of clusters here if you want to uh, uh, but it will automatically take the clusters uh, number of clusters as well 
and these are the variables by default it's taking uh, to create the clusters so if I close this one then automatically it uh, brings that field uh, to colors and it, it creates uh, the similar clusters uh, so we can check the accuracy of this one as well so if we bring this cluster onto our data pane here and called it like tableau clusters to filter apply so filter here and if we select the cluster one and if I select all the observations it shows like 50 so it correctly classified 50 in this uh, for this species if you select the cluster 2 then again it's showing 52 so there are like two misclassified uh, data points here and if I select cluster 3 it should show it should show like 48 since we have like 52 in other cluster so there are only two uh, which are misclassified here as well so either way you can do the k-means clustering uh, either by using the tableau analytics uh, function here or the k-means clustering by using the r and creating this calculated field and using the r code to create the number of clusters thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask thank you